Carrie Kirkham, The Wine Fox, and right now I'm at Fortnum and Mason in London about to enjoy a very special dish. It's a scotch egg. This is one of my favorite all-time British dishes. What's really special about this is that it was invented right here in the 1700s. Fortnum and Mason was founded in 1707, and this scotch egg, this is the epicenter, the original scotch egg. Now the original scotch egg was once made with horse meat. That was the traditional meat. Um, and the term scotch, it's not Scottish, it's not from Scotland. It refers to the cooking technique of how the scotch egg is made. So I am very, very excited to tuck into this. One of my favorite British dishes. Um, you might notice my last name is Kirkham, which is a British last name. My granddad um, was it, uh, British, and um, my family's from Canada, so this is really something very special to me to try, something I love so much at the place where it was invented. I literally have chills right now. I'm that excited. I, want, I almost want to cry because it's a cultural pilgrimage for me. It's warm. The exterior is crisp, crunchy. I get some beautiful herbal notes in the sausage that surrounds the egg. It's not greasy. It's, it's just right. Um, I really love the herbs that they mix in with the... Um, with the sausage and you can see the crisp ex ex exterior here nice and golden and crisp it's not greasy it's not oily very subtle very delicate very british it's so good mm. and right now i'm having it with irish um, tea because it was the strongest most caffeinated being an american um, Canadian British background. I need uh, uh, a lot of caffeine to get me going and this is my first meal of the day. It is stunning. The egg is very silky and if you notice the orange yolk, that's because um, this is a free-range egg that comes off of a farm that specific uh, Fortnum and Mason sources from Ivy Farms. So um, it's a very special egg. Silky. The egg yolk flavor is very subtle and minerally. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's such a beautiful scotch egg. I highly recommend it. And to that, I say cheers. Or chin chin.